hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to resume our discussion on uh, signals and systems so far uh, the signals and system topic is concerned we discussed the basic introductory concepts related to signals some uh, basic concepts related to the various types of signals you know that are used for the analysis uh, of uh, uh, of this uh, whole system various types of systems so in this video we are going to discuss some basic operations that uh, are performed on signals okay the basic operations on signals so topic is basic operations on signals okay so what are these basic operations so the commonly uh, used operations that are required for signal analysis they are first one is time shifting we'll discuss about them one by one separately the second one is uh, time reversal operation third one is time scaling then we have is amplitude scaling then fifth one is signal addition and uh, sixth one is signal multiplication okay so these are the common operations that are performed on signals time shifting time reversal time scaling amplitude scaling addition of signals and multiplication of signals so we'll discuss about uh, these operations separately in separate videos in detail okay so the first uh, thing which we are going to discuss is the time shifting okay in this order so the first operation that we are going to discuss with respect to the signals is time shifting so basically what this operation is is that we shift the signal okay in the time domain the time axis okay either to the left or right okay so this is basically that we shift the signal along the time axis which is the horizontal axis which is normally taken as the time axis so basically time shifting is that okay so let us uh, demonstrate time shifting operation okay so let us say we have a signal a continuous time signal xt okay and it is given as
this. This is the continuous time domain signal xt where we can write xt is equal to 2 from 0 to 2 that is 0 equal to t equal to 2. t is lesser than equal to 2 and greater than equal to 0 and 0 elsewhere. Okay, everywhere it is zero. Now here the time shifting operation can be done in two ways. Okay. So let us first perform the time shifting operation. Let's say we want to perform this operation. Okay. X T minus 2. Okay, so this is the signal. We will require some space. So let us release that. We have to perform this shifting operation x t minus 2. So, how will we do that? For that, what we have to do is that we have to create a new signal. Okay, let's say y t and we equate it with this shifting, the shifted signal that we want to perform. y t is equal to x t minus 2. So we have created this new signal y t and we have equated it with this shifting operation, the shifted signal that we want to perform, the operation that we want to perform. Now, at each point, okay, in the time domain, we have to determine the value of y. At each point in the time axis, in the time domain, we have to determine the value of y. How? Let me tell you. Here, for the signal xt, at t equals to 0, x0 is equal to 2, at 0 equals to 2, at t equals to 1, it is equal to 2, at t equals to 2, it is equal to 2. Everywhere else it is 0, that is at x equals to 3 equals to 0, at x equals to 4 equals to 0, at x equals to minus 1 equals to 0, at x equals to minus 2, it is equal to 0. Okay, everywhere else it is 0. So now we have to similarly determine the values of signal y at all these points. Okay, so for that, first let us determine the value of this signal, the new signal at 0, y 0. Here we have to substitute t with 0, so it will become x 0 minus 2, which will become x minus 2. Here x minus 2 is equal to 0. Similarly, at y equals to 1, it is x 1 minus 2 which is equal to x minus 1 which is equal to again 0. x minus 1 is here 0. Okay. Now at y equals to 2 here we substitute t with 2 so we become y 2 minus 2 is equal to Sorry, here it is x2 minus 2, okay, x2 minus 2 will become x0, here x0 is equal to 2, at t equals to 0, the value of the signal is 2. So that's why this step is very important, this we have equated the new signal that we have created yt with this shifting operation, this signal.
what t is equal to x t minus two because we have we can determine the values of y t at all these points by equating it with x t minus two from the different values of the signal x t. So here this this step is very important. Okay. Okay. So y two is equal to two. Y three. Is equal to here we substitute t with three that is x three minus two which is equal to x one again x one is equal to two here y four is equal to x four minus two which is equal to x two which is equal to two again y five. Is equal to x five minus two, which is equal to x three, which will be zero because at t equals to three, it is zero. At t equals to three, it is zero. X t is equal to zero, so x three is equal to zero. So the points that are important for us is this y at Two, three, and four. Okay, the value of y at points two, three, and four. There, the values are two, two, and two. Everywhere else, it will be zero. Y six will be zero. Y seven will be zero, and so on. Only at these values of t, at t equals to two, at t equals to three, at t equals to four. This shifted signal y t is equal to x t minus two will give this values. So now let us draw this shifted signal. Okay. Okay. So we have got the values of y as y two equals to two, y three equals to two, and y four is equal to two. Everywhere else it is zero. So now let us draw this shifted signal. So for that let us draw the axis. So here it is. Y t is equal to x t minus two. This is the important step. Zero, one, two. It is one, two, three, four. This. So everywhere else it is zero. At two, three, and four it is two. So so this is the shifted signal. Y t is equal to x t minus two. So if you notice and compare this signal x t. With this signal x t minus two, this signal here has shifted to the right by two units. Okay, here the signal was from zero to two, and the value was two. Here the shifted signal x t minus two is from two to four, the value as constant two. So here this signal x t has shifted by Two units to the right here. This shifted signal. Okay, so this is the original signal x t, and this is the time shifted signal x t minus two, which has shifted by two units to the right. Okay, so this is the time shifting x t minus two. Now let us discuss what will happen when we do x t plus two. Okay, so the other thing we will do. Okay, 
So we have done the x t minus 2 shifting. Now let us do the x t plus 2 this shifting operation. Okay. So for that again we have to create a new signal yt again and equate it with this x t plus 2. This is the very important step which defines the whole shifting operation. Here we have the different values okay, of uh, x at different distinct points in the time axis. So now let us determine the values of y. Okay, y at 0 is equal to, we will substitute t with 0, it is x 0 plus 2, which is equal to x 2 equals to 2. Okay, x 2 is equal to 2. Again, y 1 is equal to x 0 plus, sorry, this is 1. We will substitute t with 1, sorry, x1 plus 2 equal to x3. Now, x3, the value of x, the signal at 3 is 0. So, now we do not need to go anywhere else in the positive direction. We do not have to put y equals to 2 because no matter what, it will be in the positive direction greater than 2 and anything greater than 2 here the value of x at that is 0. See here it exists only between 0 and 2 the value is 2 everywhere else it is 0. So no need to go in the positive direction y2 will also be uh, 0 y3 will also be 0 and so on. Now let us go in the negative direction okay that is y minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3. Let us see what values we get. So y minus 1 that is t equals to minus 1. So, we will substitute t with minus 1 so will become minus 1 plus 2 which is equal to x 1 here x 1 is equal to 2. So, y at minus 1 is 2. Similarly, y minus 2 that is x minus 2 plus 2 we substituted t with minus 2 it became x 0 which is equal to 2 x 0 is equal to 2 y at minus 3 is equal to x minus 3 plus 2 is equal to x minus 1 again x minus 1 here is 0. So now we do not have to go anywhere beyond x uh, the t minus 3, y minus 4 again it will become x minus 4 plus 2, x minus 2 will be 0, y minus 5 will become x minus 3. So anywhere in the negative direction also the value of x t is 0. So no need to go beyond that. So the critical points here, okay, the critical points here are this, y 0 equals to 2 and y minus 1 and y minus 2 equals to 2. At these three points, we have values all equal to 2. y 0, y minus 1, y minus 2. Okay, so now let us draw the shifted signal x t plus 2. Okay, so now let us draw the shifted signal x t plus 2 from these values. So we have y 0, 2 y minus 1, 2 and y minus 2, 2. So, let us draw the axis, amplitude and time axis. This is y t is equal to x t plus 2. Okay. So, 0 minus 1 
minus 2 minus 3 so this is 1 and so on so at 0 minus 1 and minus 2 it is has a value equal to 2 so this is the signal everywhere else it is 0 ok so this is the shifted signal time shifted signal yt is equal to xt plus 2 so here if you compare this signal xt plus 2 with the original signal xt it has shifted this signal here has shifted by 2 units to the left ok it has shifted by 2 units to the left here it was from 0 to 2 in the positive axis the value was 2 here it is from minus 2 to 0 in the negative axis so this signal here xt when we perform this shifting operation xt plus 2 it has shifted by 2 units to the left ok so here it is 2 units to the left in xt minus 2 it was shifting 2 units to the right in t plus 2 it has shifted by 2 units to the left ok so this is the both time shifting operations x t minus 2 and x t plus 2 ok ok so let us conclude this whole discussion here first we have this original signal xt from 0 to 2 it has a value 2 and everywhere else it is 0 here first we performed this shifting operation x t minus 2 as a result of this shifting operation this signal original signal xt shifted by 2 units to the right x t minus 2 ok the whole signal shifted 2 units to the right here we performed the other shifting operation the other way around x t plus 2 here this original signal x t shifted 2 units to the left so here what we conclude is that when the minus sign is there in the shifting it means the shifting will happen to the right in the right direction towards right and when plus sign is there the shifting will happen to the left and by how much amount the shifting will take place will occur it is governed by this t minus let's say uh, capital T units or T plus capital T units so here the shifting will occur by T units ok T units to the right here also it will occur by T units but because of the plus sign it, the shifting will occur to the left so there will be a original signal the reference signal which is this whatever it can be anything it can be a ramp signal it can be a sinusoidal signal it can be um, let's say a signum function whatever whatever signal that you have that will be the reference signal and when time shifting will happen it will either be in this way or this way minus or plus remember always minus means the shifting will happen 
to the right okay do not you know uh, the mistake that uh, happens when somebody is starting getting started with this is that they think that minus means the shifting will take place to the left plus means the shifting will take place to the right but it's a normal mistake but you have to remember this minus means the shifting will take place to the right plus means the shifting will take place to the left and by how much amount it is de determined by this this factor after the symbol the sign minus t t units to the right plus t t units to the left from the reference position this reference signal okay so this is the time shifting operation of signals okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much